Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Tales of Monkey Island for more point and click adventure game action. We are right back where we left off on Flotsam Island. We followed the treasure map, but then couldn't find any treasure because it had already been dug up. Um, and if you watched the last episode, which you should have done, then you'll know I've got a little bit of an idea which I discussed at the end of that one. Uh, but first, if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below the video so you get a notification to your device every time I upload. And as always guys, thank you all for your ongoing support. So, I was thinking perhaps we can make our own version, or our own fake version I should say, of the Dark Ninja Dave doll by combining this sword and the action figure. Um, I'm not sure whether this will work, but I've got a feeling it will. Hey, yeah, there you know. go. That little teeny sword fits right into Pierre's little teeny hand. It still doesn't look very fearsome though. Yeah, how are we gonna make him look fearsome? Even with a sword, Pink Pajama Pierre isn't gonna scare anyone in those pink pajamas. Okay, so what does the ninja dude look like? That jungle sure is noisy. So, can we potentially ask this guy again what does Dave look like? Was that an option? Hello again. Hi. Stop doing that. No. Uh, okay, what makes him rare? What makes Dark Ninja Dave so rare? Because a bunch of pirate parents had him banned on account of his pointy killer karate katana accessory. They said it was a choking hazard. Wimps. Okay, so... Well, I've got pirate news to make and you've got dolls to play with, so I'll just be on my way. They're not That wasn't dolls. really a help. Take that! Can we, um... <clears throat> let's see if we can... That jungle sure is noisy. Can we find a quick... That jungle sure is noisy. Weirdly, if I press R3, it keeps saying that. Can we go to the buried treasure site? Over there. I love how like little things come up off the trees. I don't know if they're birds. So this the X marks the spot. Oh dang. Looks like someone already dug up this treasure. Can we put this in? That's a good idea, but I don't think Dora would be interested in digging up another pink pajama Pierre. Right, okay, so there must be something else. Let's return to the entrance. Uh, do we have anything else about Ninja Dave? <laughs> Maybe the colour? Because he keeps referencing pink, doesn't he? Okay, maybe... Ah, I've got an idea. There were barrels of ink, weren't there? Over by the newspaper place? Hmm. Shortcut. I didn't know you could go through there. Well, there we go, we learnt something new. Yeah, here we go, the barrels of ink. I wonder if we can paint him with... Oh, do we need a paintbrush, though? Or can we just dip him in? Arr, pink pajama Pierre. You foiled yeah, I think we can. For the last time. Prepare to meet your maker in the ebon depths of the inky sea. Sacre bleu! Is this the end of pink pajama Pierre? <laughs> I guess it's true. Black really is slimming. Can we do anything about that olive? Nothing like a quick paint job and a dangerously pointy accessory to turn a sad unwanted doll into an exciting ninja assassin. Well, I think we might actually have done it. He says it's a ninja assassin accessory now. So perhaps we can. Oh yeah, we can cut through there as well. Uh, do we have to... Give it to what's his face or to Dark Ninja Dave? Uh, not to Dark Ninja Dave, to Doro the Explorer. I love that reference, by the way. Right, let's see if he wants ah. this. Look, I've got him, Dark Ninja as Dave. Happy as it would make Doro to finally get his hands on a Dark Ninja Dave or an unreasonable facsimile, I think it'd be a lot more newsworthy if he found it himself. Found it himself. Oh, do we have to put it back in the... 
back in the, the hole. I can hear you, Poofy. Stop judging. Um, <laughs> it's always looking to lower the tone of my videos. Right, let's go to the buried treasure. We'll go to where the X marks the spot. And can we put the doll back? Does that work? Dark Ninja Dave with Killer Katana Cutlass waits stealthy. Where'd you get the shovel from? Pirate hunter Joaquin Doro to find him. Why is he narrating? I hope no one notices that I've re-gifted this buried treasure spot. <laughs> right, okay, so now we've got to get him to dig it up. Have we? How are we going to get him to dig it up? Do we just literally tell him? Pew, 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 pew. Hello again. Hi. Stop doing that. No. Good news, your map isn't a ripoff. Great news, Doro. I think your map isn't a ripoff after all. It isn't? But I never found anything with it. You must have been reading it wrong. Here, follow me. Yeah, follow me. Look. It's going to be something really cool here. And X marks the spot. See? I told Why is he you out of I breath? Huh? I better start digging. I hope it's not as deep as the other ones. What? Dios. Dark Ninja Dave with <laughs> Karate Katana! <laughs> you probably should have taken that olive off. Ninja Dave! Dark Ninja Dave! <laughs> the full set of porcelain power pirates is mine! All mine! Ow! I got dirt in my eye. One idiot. My ears deceive me, or did that portly pirate just dig up a buried treasure? He sure did, with a little help from Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Well, that's fantastic! We haven't had a good buried treasure story in weeks! I better well, catch up with that wheezy primary before he has a coronary, or worse. Start talking to those boobs from the Times. Snappy Pirate Threepwood, keep this up, and the secrets of Deep Gun will be all yours! Well, there we go, see? The question is, how do we do the third bit and get this boat? Because that's going to be the next task, isn't it? So we need to find a way of getting him off this boat. How on earth are we going to do that? So at the moment, I can't really think of a way. Still, at least we managed to get two out of the three done now. Alphabet sale! Alphabet sale, yeah, keep on. We couldn't go in there yet, could we, I don't think? Got this clothes line. What was the deal with this? Can we maybe do something to his the crank up there? Huh. It looks like this clothesline can be cranked from either side. Snazzy. Can we damage that in some way? Maybe we can lob a bomb at it. We can press R1 to change what we're looking at. Did not know that. Can we blow it up? I don't want to blow that up. Uh, can we blow up the chain? I don't want to blow that up. What do you want to blow up? So we've got this fire. Can we do anything with this? On the I'm fire? No. I might need it. Someday. Can we light the bomb? We can. Okay, now what? I mean, we probably shouldn't be holding that. As soon as it's actually on fire. Um, can we put it in there? It's a good thing oh, we can. These have so much crotchal support. Well, there you go. Oh, let's crank it. Will it blow up at his end? Oh no. It's gonna blow up on our end. Oh monkey spit. <laughs> Those are some sturdy undies. We've still got more bombs though. Right, so that seems to be what we do. 
But how are we going to distract him? In some way. So that he doesn't wind it back. Uh, maybe we just leave it till the last minute? Let's try that. Perhaps we can just do that, like, leave it really long. Till it's about to blow up and then move it. So maybe that'll blow... Well, I don't want to blow him up. Sheer, sexy, and playful, with plenty of support for the active pirate. Yeah, nice. Um, unless we can put it in the socks, maybe. Can we... Is it actually going down? Maybe we can talk to him and get him to do the crank. Uh, <clears throat> where is he? I can't actually seem to talk to him. There he is. Oh, it blew up. Damn. Let's see if we can get him to use the crank. Uh, I found your membership card. I found your membership card. Keep it. In my book, possession is seven twelfths of the law. Well, I've used it anyway. There would be no mat. <laughs> um, be seeing you. What do we do here? It's got to be something to do with this. Ali, yoop. Hello. Uh -oh. Hey. <gasps> oh. Okay. Do we perhaps light it? Okay, now what? Put it into the underwear and then climb along so that he winds it towards himself. Good thing Winslow's undies have so much crotchal support. Because when he wound that a second ago, it went towards him, didn't it? I wonder if... Will this work? No, don't, please. Yeah, I think it is. You'll have to be a lot sneakier than that if you want to knock me off, lad. Oh, I wouldn't say that. What? Clever boy. And there he goes. Yes. We figured it out. Well played, Master How did he get there? Or should I say... Captain Threepwood. Captain? Aye, now that you've bounced me off the screaming narwhal, you're officially its captain. Until someone else comes along and knocks you off. Sweet. I yeah. bloody well sweet it is. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some massive internal hemorrhaging to attend to. Oh my god. Well, that's all three now, isn't it? I just got a tip there's some kind of one piracy going on around here. Not yep. just any wanton piracy, a genuine ship seizure committed by none other than Captain Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Uh, Guybrush is one word. Wonderful. <laughs> I could probably get a week's worth of stories out of this. You know, Maybe. Threepwood, you've got spunk. Pirate spunk. Ew. Now, why don't you take a look uh, at okay. the Tell me a little bit more about yourself. Well, it all started back on Melee Island. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's going to recount the entire thing from the beginning. And that's how I wound up here on Flotsam Island. God. Well, I don't know how you did it, Seapwood. But thanks to you, I've got enough sorted swashbuckling stories to keep the Flotsam Keel Hall and Gazette afloat for months. That'll show those bozos over at the Times. Yeah, screw the yeah, Times. Yeah, that's um, great. Now, about Deep Gut. My pleasure, Seapwood. Sit tight while I make you a copy. Copy? Tammy! Give me a copy of the deep gut file, Prado. Right away, Mr. Nippikin. Oh my God, it's you just know, him. Kid, everything you need to know to contact Deep Gut. Don't let anyone know I gave this to you, okay? Uh, my editor put me on deep cover in the obituary beat. Catch my drift? Not really. But... Great. Now, if you'll excuse me, Ace reporter Davey Nippikin's got some headlines to grab. Finally, now I can ask the deep gut person how to get off this island and back to Elaine. 
was simple enough. Deadline. So we've got to walk from the jungle to that hut. We found that hut already. So did we sort of do that by mistake? Did we head like too far ahead? And that's why there was no one at the hut. Oh, deadline must be the... Didn't they ask for a password? At the hut? The creepy shack, that was it. Didn't they ask for a password and we didn't know? So perhaps deadline is the password. Also, I'm sure that person that he was talking to there in the, um... The newspaper shop was himself putting a voice on. Which is pretty funny. Okay, door. Here we go. Wasn't there a password? What's the word? Yeah, deadline. Deadline. Okay. And we're in. Oh god, is this voodoo? Welcome, Guybrush. The it's the voodoo lady. lady! Boy, am I glad to see you! I've got so many questions- There'll be time enough for questions later. But first, hand me the Lachuk Slayer. The what? The cursed cutlass of Kaflu. Now that Lichuk has been destroyed, the cutlass must oh. be ritually dismantled in a soul-chilling voodoo ceremony. About to that. ensure that his evil never reawakens. Yeah, about <laughs> that. The cutlass recipe you gave me was a dud. I tried to destroy Lechuk with the cutlass, but I had to make some last second substitutions and there were some complications. Issues. What manner of complications? Plot twists. Well, the cutlass didn't so much annihilate Lechuk as it turned him human. What? I couldn't believe fault. it either. Personally, I think it's a trick. A human Lechuk. This is troubling. Can you help me? I'll do as much as the fates allow, but I fear that you will not like what I have to say. Uh, okay. Can you tell me how to get off Flotsam Island for a start? Can you help me get off Flotsam Island? I've got a ship. I was wondering if we'd see the voodoo lady in this wins. game. Wasn't expecting it to be here, though. God say? No. No? Oh. Can't you just wiggle your fingers and voodoo schmoodoo the winds to blow out? What you <laughs> ask is beyond my power, Guybrush. Then I don't believe the name that. of Satan's comb over are you good for, you bloated old sea hag? Oh. What was that? That was the Pox of Lechak. Uh, who, who, the what now? The Pox of Lechak. When your improperly enchanted cutlass turned Lechak into a human, all the evil voodoo juju within him had to go somewhere. Were you touching him at the time? I was! Does that explain the antisocial behavior and the crude gestures? Yes. <laughs> Some of Lechak's evil has seeped into your hand. Do you have a cure? No, but I know where you can find one. I feel a piratey quest coming on. <laughs> yeah, I was just about to, to say that. the parks of Lechak, you must seek out La Esponja Grande. La Esponja Grande? The big sponge? The big sponge. La Esponja Grande is no ordinary sponge, Treepwood. It is a legendary sea sponge with Ooh. incredible voodoo exfoliating abilities capable of absorbing of limitless quantities of voodoo mojo. Where can I find it? I have never seen it myself, but a former friend of mine Friend, inverted commas. Spent many years searching for it. I last saw him in the Jerkbait Islands. Take Jerk this knock into him. And tell him I vouch for your character. I'll get right on nice. it after I find Elaine. That would be unwise, Guybrush. The pox of Lechuk must be eliminated before it spreads. Whatever. Spreads? Oh dear. So Lechuk's become human. And we're becoming Lechuk. Huh. Are you sure okay. you can't help me get off Flotsam Island? As I said, the mysteries of Flotsam are above my pay grade. Seek out others to assist you. What others? Uh, can you tell me if Elaine is okay at least? Can you tell me if Elaine is okay? Hmm. The view is 
Hazy. Ask again later. Later? Helpful. But she could be in danger, or dead, or worse. I only know what the spirits reveal, Guybrush Treepwood. She's losing a touch. Can you tell me where the Chuck is? If you can't tell me about Elaine, if it you says here, where then. Chuck is? Without a mark of the voodoo on him, the Chuck's whereabouts are a mystery to me. Ah. How do I stave off the pox of LeChuck? Do you have anything to stave off the pox of LeChuck? This hand is really starting to annoy me. The only way to safely deal with the pox is La Esponja Grande. Guess we're looking for the big sponge. Anything else about this pox? What else can you tell me about the pox of LeChuck? It's a creeping cloud of unstoppable evil, spreading LeChuck's accumulated vileness like a disease across the seas. Ugh, sounds fun. Even now, fun. I can sense the pox <coughs> wending its way to this very island. Isn't it already here? Okay, about this big sponge. Assuming that I do go looking for La Esponja Grande after I get off this island, what else can you tell me about it? It's a giant magical sea sponge capable of absorbing immense voodoo energies. If there's anything that can mop up all of LeChuck's evil mojo, it's the sponge. If you say so. Oh, I wonder if the sponge... You remember in Escape from Monkey Island when we had to get out of the bank vault when Pegnos framed us and knocked us in? We had to use the bits of sponge to get out of the door? With the grog? I wonder if that was part of the sponge. I wonder if that's going to be a thing. Uh, tell me more about this locket. Tell me more about this locket. It was Just a little brainwave out there. My friend, Coronado de Cava. Friend, yeah. Why do you keep putting dramatic pauses around friend? Was Coronado? Yes, he was <laughs> my boyfriend. <laughs> Icky. We met in the Jerkland Islands many years ago. I fell in love with his treasure hunting mind and his beautiful eyes. He fell in love with my voodoo charms and my supple. La 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 la, la not listening! <laughs> we don't want to know. Like Keep it to yourself. Volcano. But after several oh months my of God. steaming passion, our love cooled after he became obsessed. With a myth of lies. I'm scarred. Grande. When we parted, he gave me that locket. Sad. And disquietingly graphic. Yeah. And regret asking now. What's your name, anyway? We still don't you know, know you've that. You've been helping me out for years, and I still don't know your name. Names have power, Guybrush Treepwood. Only a fool willingly gives it away. <laughs> I see what you mean Does by my that. Name have power? Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> uh, how'd you end up on Flotsam Island, anyway? How'd you end up on Flotsam Island? I go where I am needed. Seems like she's always around. Your deep gut? So your deep gut? Davy Nipperkin's source of off-island news? Yes. Why? The price of a voodoo lifestyle is not merely spiritual, little pirate. It also requires a substantial financial commitment. I guess that makes sense. Uh, okay, that looks like everything we can ask her. See you later, then. Well, this has been disturbing, but I've got an island Very to escape, a wife to find, and apparently a giant voodoo-sucking sponge to hunt. May the fates guide you, Guybrush Treepwood. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, that took an interesting turn, didn't it? I'm going to go wash my mind out with soap to get that out of my head. And we will continue in the next one. <laughs> so, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.